Last week we spent a lot of time focusing on my yarn stash and organizing that after we arrived here in our new apartment and I'm hoping that in today's video we can kind of wrap up the finishing setup of my new craft room slash office space so that I can finally use it to its full potential. I'm hoping to be able to set up this space to be multi-craft functional and also functional as a full work from home office for my full-time day job that I do from home about half of the week. I went ahead and I downloaded some room layout software and I thought about exactly how I'm going to set up this space before I started trying to move around heavy furniture. So let's go over to my computer and I will walk you through kind of like how I went through the process of deciding how this room is going to be laid out for hopefully maximum functionality. I started planning and designing the layout of this office the moment that we signed the contract and I got a floor plan of this space with the dimensions and my original thought which is going to have a lot of furniture on this wall so I would have kept the bookshelf right next to me here with my uh, work desk looking out into the patio then my craft desk and just my sewing machine and the chair out there I had oriented the sewing machine to face not directly up against the wall but out for two reasons. One is I want to look out at the patio as much as possible and the other is when I'm sewing I've noticed in the past when I've had the sewing machine fully up against the wall as the fabric runs through the sewing machine it gets caught up on the wall behind it so I like to have the back of the sewing machine free so that as I'm sewing things they can kind of run off the back of my sewing machine it doesn't get caught. However when I was looking at this I was like man this seems very like furniture heavy on the right side of the room and also it seems like I would have a little bit of trouble moving around the space with my chair because of the bookcase being there and kind of being in the way. So then I tried thinking about a secondary layout where I would have the bookcase directly next to my patio door and then I would have the chair kind of angled so I could look out at the patio. I like this one for the reason that I would be looking out of the patio but I didn't like it because it kind of seems to cramp up the walking space towards the patio door. It just seemed a little awkward with the furniture placement which is why I finally settled on this orientation of the furniture in my office where we have the desk my work desk not changing positions nor the craft table I'm looking out from my work desk to my patio my craft table is scooched up against the wall so I can still look left and look out with a pegboard up on top of it I'm very excited about my idea for the pegboard. I want it to be framed and then I don't want the back to be a solid color but I want to use a wallpaper to kind of give it an interesting pattern and almost look like a picture or a painting up on that side of the wall. And then opposite that the corner with my lovely reading chair is going to be set up very similarly to how it was in my past office where I'm going to have it pushed back into the corner so I can still look out at the patio but it doesn't really intrude on, on the space as much. Next to it is going to be the bookshelf which I think makes a lot of sense. My bookshelf will be right next to my reading chair and then down behind it will be my sewing machines. I'm pretty happy with the way that this office is laid out. We can go back in time now to when I had a lot of work to do to organize my space. I spent a lot of time on the yarn but the rest of the space is still an absolute mess. Piles of things everywhere that really need to be organized and clean first. As you can probably see from all of these different clips, my room was an absolute mess with things strewn all over the place. My yarn might have been organized, but nothing else was. So I had quite the mountain to tackle and it was a little bit distracting as I was already trying to work in this absolute mess. Uh, this is not just my craft room. I work from home half of the week. So this is also my home office for doing my day job. And at the moment with the chaos that it's in, it is pretty hard for me to concentrate. I'm finding it so hard to sit at that folding table and look out at this and do anything but get a little anxious about the absolute chaos that I am witnessing. So rather than continue to just sit and struggle to focus, I thought that I would, if not put things in their final spot, at least put them closer to their final position. So you guys have seen my design plan so far, so I think the first thing that I'll do, <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of work because I already put so many books in there. I'm gonna move the bookshelf and I'm gonna build my actual work desk together because I actually found the pieces that I need. Oh my gosh, you guys should have seen me before I put the desk together, before I found like the screws that hold it together and then Nutella jumped on it and then everything fell apart. I was holding on to it for dear life. Anyway, 
bookshelf in the right place, desk, put that together, and then I'll just like at least put piles. This will be my fabric things and my sewing things and notions and my filming equipment and my work stuff versus maybe my craft stuff so that I at least have things kind of in the right place so that as more of the pieces come in and I get the pieces thrifted um, together for this space, I have the stuff ready to store in it. So I guess it's time for another time lapse. I'm gonna put an hour on the clock. Hopefully it looks a lot better by then because I'm, I'm stressed just looking looking at this mess. The hour is just about over and I am also starting to lose light. However, I think I've set up the furniture that I have right now, at least the big pieces, in the spots that I want it. So yes, I still have like piles of unorganized stuff all around the room, but at least now I know that when I put it in a place that the thing that's holding it will hopefully not move. Like I'm not, I'm hoping not to move the bookshelf again. I didn't get to sorting through my piles. Maybe I'll do that later in the evening. I do have to actually get to some work. I'll check in with you all again in a while to organize and put together the rest of my stuff. <laughs> You might remember the state of this closet from my last video on sorting through all of my yarn. I had kind of stopped because I realized I just didn't have enough places to put things. However, I just finished putting together the matching drawer unit, not drawer unit, shelving unit, I got cubby unit uh, to the one that I already have. First, clear out the random debris in here, put the shelving unit in place. I'm gonna use it mainly for fabric was my idea. And then I kind of wanna reassess where we're at. Let's get the shelf in there, let's put away the fabric and let's see where that leaves us with the closet. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like as I am organizing this place and putting stuff in their proper locations, the moment I finish one thing and move on to the next, that first one it gets messed up again. <laughs> So the closet is now in a pretty good spot, but the rest of my room has turned into an absolute disaster once again. I mean, it's it's for a good reason. It's because of good news. My things have come. So the desk has come, antiques and things that I got have come, a, a dedicated boiling pot for non-food related things. So when I wanna dye something, I have some other projects planned, which is I need to boil in water, but probably not a good idea to use pots that you also cook food in so I have you know, that thing is I, I knew it was gonna be big but it's huge in order to help with that a little bit I think I'm going to build my desk my craft table and put up the pegboard which I'm really excited about so that I can get all of that stuff organized and kind of put away. I am gonna go maybe grab a cup of coffee because I'm a little sleepy and I'm gonna build my desk and then I will check in with you again because I think after my desk, I'm gonna put up my pegboard, which I am super excited about. And you know what I just realized actually? I got the pegboard, but none of the accessories, like none of the hooks and things to go in it. And I don't have any like drywall screws. So that might require a trip to the home improvement store. Can you, like, there's so much on my mind at all times of like things I'm trying to remember and things I'm trying to do, but it's all exciting stuff. So it's like good things, but it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna focus on the craft table for now. Let's get that up and then we'll go from there. Just kidding on setting up the desk first. 
I could probably do it by hand, but a power drill would be very, very useful. We used to have one. I was looking for it. I cannot find it. So I guess first let's stop by the home improvement store to get a power drill, get some drywall screws, some wood screws. I'm pretty sure there's some other things that we need too. So I'm going to grab all that stuff. I'll be back and then we can finally do the desk and the paper. Oh, right. And the pegboard accessories, of course. Okay. So let me grab all of that and I will be right back. We're back from the hardware store and I have set up my desk, my craft table behind me. It is so much larger than I was expecting, but I absolutely love it. The next step is to put the pegboard up. So let me first get that whole thing framed and put together and I will show you that process. like endless trips to the home improvement store later and the pegboard is up. Now I have my desk built, my pegboard is up, and I even remember to grab the pegboard hooks and accessories. So I'm going to start hanging those up. I might need to puncture some holes through the wallpaper just so I can get to the holes of the pegboard, but hopefully that'll be okay. All of the big furniture is in place. My pegboard is set up. I think that we can move on to kind of the finishing touches, which is to hang everything up on the walls. You will most likely recognize most of the things that I'll be hanging up on the walls because it was in the background of my videos previously. However, I have had some new acquisitions over the last few months and it's finally time for me to hang them up. And then we can go on to the final reveal. Let's hang all the finishing touches and put together all the little finishing pieces that really make this place cozy. <laughs> After what felt like an eternity, it was really satisfying to open the door to a fully ready to use crafting space. Comparing the before and afters is also incredibly satisfying to see. I always love to see a good organization montage. few weeks to finally get to this point of organization in my craft room and there were a lot of moments in between where it looked very messy and even now my craft supply closet is 
looking maybe a little bit messier than it was <laughs> even in different parts of this video, but so far I'm able to access most of my things and find most of my things and I have been really productive in my new craft room. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy watching videos like these or crafting videos, especially those that are yarn related and related to history or vintage knitting, please feel free to subscribe and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>